All the slamming shorties in the house say, yeah. Transformers 1 has been out a whole week now, or over a week now. And uh, we're supposed to get a trilogy, but uh, apparently if the movie doesn't do good, we're not going to get a sequel. So that basically means that, yeah, we're cooked, pack it up, we're not going to get another one. So I thought that they would be kind of fun to just go over the things I would have wanted in a Transformers 1 sequel. Or Transformers 2, if that's what they decide to call it, or what, whatever they're going to call it. Which is actually the first thing I'll talk about, which is the title title of the movie i honestly think should be something creative and fun if you know we are gonna get one if we don't then uh this video is basically pointless but uh, maybe not pointless but you know it's still kind of fun looking back on what could be or what could have been but other than that like a title for the movie uh i know transformers 2 was probably is probably gonna be or will or was the title transformers 2 honestly i just think that's kind of generic uh i know the first one was transformers 1 and then we've been 2 and 3 but like come on we could do so much better than that like I read this comment, I don't know where it was at, it was probably TikTok or YouTube, but it's basically like Transformers 1 is Transformers 1, and then the second one is Transformers 1 shall stand, and then the third one is Transformers 1 shall fall. Like that right there just fits, and it's so perfect, like holy crap, that is actually so perfect. I don't know who came up with that, but whoever did, yeah, I mean, kudos to you, man, you're an absolute genius. But another title goes would be like the, the, the games, the war and the fall of Cybertron, you could do that as a title too, that could work, but like just one two and three just i wouldn't hate it but it's just you know we could do a lot better we could be a lot more creative with the titles i'm just saying but overall yeah that's all i really want from the title just something cool like or like you know what it doesn't even have to be fancy or anything just just something like war fall cybertron or battle cybertron or one shot stand or whatever the title is or what's gonna be it's just, it's just a title i guess but i would have wanted a cool title but the thing that i would have wanted the most out of any of the sequels or the sequel would have been the fall in the war of cybertron to see a full battle animated movie of just the war of cybertron and the fall of it would have been incredible like that would have been so awesome not gonna that will almost be like an event film almost in a way for transformers that's like the end game for transformers fans and no way home for transformers fans like that right there would be awesome like you do that that would, it would maybe it wouldn't have made money because let's face it transformers movies i just don't make money anymore but still that would have that would have been incredible that would have oh man that would have been so cool like you've seen the autobots decepticons and then oh then you bring the freaking the grimlocks or you bring the dinosaur uh transformers in there like the games did or how the movie did it but in cybertron instead but like you could really do like some incredible stuff with that animation all the battle like deaths or, like destruction and war just straight up everything cybertron on flames everything like the animation would just been incredible like come on like that's i think that's the thing that every transformer fan just wishes for it's a full movie about just the war of cybertron of course we got a little bit of that in bumblebee that was only like five minutes though where's b127 Though it would be cool to get like a cgi version of this or like an anime or like you know cgi animated realistic version of this like the one in bumblebee i think animation just works far better because you're not restricted by li the limitations of the real world and trying to make it look real but like with this animation you can really just go full-blown like create it do whatever you want type of thing but like that ah, come on if we can just get one more film and it's just a war and fall of cybertron then we're good i don't need a third one i just i just need i just want another movie that has that and then after that we're good i don't need another one to be honest another thing i would have wanted now some people might disagree with me here but i would have wanted it for it to tie into the live action movies like maybe not the bavers because it, it contradicts a lot of things but i think the the new one the bumblebee and rise of the bees universe i think it can actually fit very well like i'm just saying like imagine this we're in the in the sequel or the third movie whatever the last movie in the franchise is going to be this animated version and then it ends with the beginning of bumblebee the movie like that right there that, that would be pretty cool like it just it ends like you could finish the the last one in the in this trilogy or whatever and then from that it goes into bumblebee and then rise of the bees and then whatever other movie they come up with i honestly think that would be pretty cool and if because they don't really contradict each other in a lot of ways if anything they, they could help each other out so like 
I mean, yeah, I mean, you could technically do it. I know, it's, it's like, they never did truly confirm whether this really is, it's like, its own thing. I know they said it's kind of its own thing, but then they say it might tie into the movies or, uh, like, the, 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 it might tie into the live-action movies or not, but, like, I'm just saying, like, it could really work. Like, if, if you do it right, it could be so cool to just watch, like, a full trilogy of animated Transformers movies and, and, like, the origin of all these things and then the third one was just, like, the end of everything and then it just goes to Bumblebee. Boom. That would be pretty cool. I honestly think that would be pretty cool, but, like, maybe that's just me. And lastly, the thing I would have also wanted was to see these characters, these Transformers we meet in the first movie and you see them grow and transform into who they're meant to be. I mean, we know Optimus Prime became Optimus Prime at the end of the movie, but I would have I would have loved to see him grow as a leader, as an Autobot, as a character, and you see him grow more and more, and like maybe become more and more like that leader that we know, and Megatron maybe becoming more ruthless and more evil or something like that. Like right? you just watch these characters grow and all that. I think that would have been pretty dope. If we see these characters from how they started to how they go and how they end, th I think that would have worked and that would have been so cool. Like honestly, I think also if we see like. And I know the Transformers 1 has a lot of hidden Transformers like Ironhide or Jazz. And like just seeing them and then later seeing them in the sequels just be those Autobots. That would have been pretty cool too. Like it's Transformers 1 isn't just an origin for like Optimus or Megatron. It's also an origin for a lot of Autobots and Decepticons and all that. It's like to see like all these characters like become who they are. And like Shockwave in the movie he wasn't really that cold or that cool or like he didn't really do anything. But maybe later in the sequels, he will become more cold. He will become more calculating, smart, or deadly. Shockwave. <laughs> Just the tactical advantage I need. Or Soundwave, which in the movie, he wasn't really that menacing. And in other versions, he's like super menacing. So like if we could just see all these characters grow and grow and like become who they're meant to be. Except Starscream, because Starscream basically stays the same from like where he is at now to like where he goes. Goes like Starscream. Starscream doesn't really change, but overall, like all the other characters, it would be it would have been so cool to just see them change and transform into who they're meant to be and who they become. So yeah. All right, um, that's it for me. Really, I don't really have a lot because like overall, Transformers One just gave gave me and others a lot of Transformers fan a lot of things we've been asking for. And there's only really a few more things to ask for, and that's really it. So, I mean, I hope we get a sequel, and if we don't, we're, we're probably never going to get that freaking movie of Cybertron and War and all that. We're never going to get that because this is, this is our only chance. This is like this movie's leading up to that, and if this fails, we're, we're not going to get one. But overall, I, I really love the movie. Um, I really want a sequel. Uh, if you got any ideas of where they should go next, you know, comment. I'll read them. And yeah. Uh, thanks for watching and goodbye. Oh, you got Megatron. Come here, Cretan. You want a piece of me? You want a piece? No, I want two.